Hey guys, Lewis here, and in today's video, I'm going to do a plural site review. So I'm going to review the plural site website for software developers or people who want to become software developers because I'm a software developer myself. I've been a software developer since uh, 2017, so it's been uh, you know a few years, and so I have some experience actually doing online learning with plural site and other websites. So I feel like I have a good background to sort of evaluate the difference between Pluralsight and the other websites. And that's what I'm going to be answering here. Is Pluralsight actually superior to other sites like, you know, Udemy, uh, we've all tried it, or uh, um, stuff like LinkedIn Learning, or just watching stuff on YouTube and trying to learn programming on YouTube. Um, the first thing I'm gonna say here is that you need to make up your own mind. That's going to be my own opinion. But so I'm going to put a, a link to a free trial to plural site in the description of this video if you want to make up your own mind. But I'm going to give you my own conclusion after trying plural site. My conclusion is that the main value proposition for plural site is that you have tons of interactive content. So they call them, you know, labs or projects where, you know, instead of having to actually, you know, you're taking a course and you have to set up your local develop, development environment. And there's so much stuff that you have to set up on your computer. It's like so time consuming and it takes away from the, the goal of the course. With Pluralsight, they provide you with very, very interactive content and the setup, the, envir the coding environment is already set up in the browser, so you don't need to worry about the minutia. You can actually focus on the learning. Uh, and to me, that is the main sort of, uh, the main value proposition. That paired with the fact that you have lots of labs where you're not just watching videos for hours on end, it's actually you're doing, and then there are very short instructions, doing, you know, it's much more hands-on than other websites. Now, other websites also have that, right? Don't get me wrong, you have a lot of that on other websites, but the difference here with a plural site is that not only is it more advanced, the way that they do it, it's actually better, but it's also that the library of hands-on content is so huge, uh, it's, it's just incredible. I haven't seen that in on any other website. So that's the main value proposition. Now, I'm going to talk about pricing. I'm gonna go on the pricing page here. And you have two plans currently. I'm gonna put a link probably to the pricing page because I think it's pretty likely to change over time. But so you have two plans and I'm talking about individual, right? Uh, plans for like just regular people like us. You have the standard plan, which gives you access to more than 2,500 courses. Uh, you have assessments as well and learning paths. Uh, learning paths are like a set of courses that they put together. If you wanna become, I don't know, like a Python web developer, you have something for that and a set of courses and so on. The premium plan, uh, and you know, the premium plan, by the way, it contains all of the stuff that I mentioned, like the main value proposition to me is in the premium plan. You get all of the courses that you have in standard, but you have much more courses. You have seven, uh, more than 7,000 courses. You also get the projects. This is what I talked about, where you have interactive content. You have the uh, development environment that's already going to be set up for you in, in the browser. Uh, you also have certification uh, preparation. You know, if you have like certifications that you want to take for like AWS or, or you know, Azure or Google Cloud or other stuff, you're going to have that. And you also have coding challenges, which personally I haven't tried, but uh, this may actually be great. All right, so this is the pricing now. Uh, as I said, uh, plural site is all about, well, the main value proposition, the thing that sets it apart is going to be uh, the hands-on learning. And hands-on learning to me is great, but the, the big problem is that, you know, if you want to do hands-on learning with YouTube, for example, you take a course on YouTube and they're going to, they're going to tell you, okay, if you want to develop with this framework, okay, you have to set this up and there's so much setup. And then you know you get in the course, but the setup is so complex because your machine, maybe you're you have a Mac or maybe you have a Windows, but it's not like the right version of Windows. Maybe you're on Linux, and so 
you know, there, there are always issues with the setup. And with the labs here, I'm on the page here for the labs. Uh, wait, I think these are the labs or uh, no, wait, let me open actually the, the right page for the labs. Uh, there we go. Okay, so these are the labs on uh, plural sites, and you have a bunch of stuff. There's so many things that you can do. A lot of AWS stuff, a lot of Microsoft stuff. If I click on the lab here, you'll see that it's a very practical sort of uh, process that you're going to learn, and it's going to be interactive. Instead of just watching videos for hours on end, you're going to have to do things yourself, and then there are going to be you know very short instructions that you can follow. And once again, the setup, all the environment has already been sort of digested for you. You don't need to spend hours on just setting up your environment. So just for that, just for the setup, I would say Pluralsight is actually worth it. You're going to save so many hours of just, you know, headaches. Uh, now, in addition to these, uh, uh, these labs, which are more like short, uh, skill-based, uh, you know, labs, you also get projects which are supposed to um, you know, reproduce sort of what you would get in uh, like a, a work situation, for example. Uh, you have a bunch of projects here, you know, securing Spring Data, REST APIs, a bunch of stuff about Java. There, there are so many things. There are so many practical projects. And once again, here you get the, the setups already, already done for you. It's pretty interactive. And also the projects, when you submit your solution, because you're going to have to submit your code, the code is automatically going to be checked. And what Pluralsight does is that they have automated checks that are going to check your code and check your results and see uh, if your solution is actually correct. And you will get feedback uh, based on, on that. All right. Now I want to talk a little bit about the issues, uh, sort of the, the downsides of Pluralsight, and there are a few of them. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about here is, you know, this is like uh, when you're looking for courses, like this is the course uh, library, and for the most part, um, the, the instructors uh, for those courses are really, really good, and some of them are actually pretty well known in the community. Um, and but it really depends on the course. There are a few courses where the instructors, I mean, they're always knowledgeable, but some of them just sound, you know, it sounds like that like like they're just reading off a script. So it's not really entertaining, you know. Uh, but I guess that's a minor issue. Um, the bigger problem that I have is that some of the courses are pretty old, like they're antiquated. If I click on this one, for example. Uh, I'm going to go to this page and you can see here in the information uh, when was it last updated 2020 that's fine uh, that's uh, just a few years ago that's kind of fine but some of the courses they're just so old like if I click here let me try to find an old course I'm sure we're gonna find one I mean look at this 2015 that's like almost 10 years ago and in the tech world it's just like you know uh, almost 10 years ago, it's like, don't even bother. It, it's not worth, you know, watching the course. Uh, now, the thing, uh, you know, the thing is here, there are lo there's lots of old stuff, but it is true that there are so many courses, the catalog is so huge that you're probably going to find th the same or a similar course about the same technology, but, you know, updated, something much more recent. So that's the thing, but uh, they, it seems like they don't really bother to um, remove the old courses because those are just not uh, valid, uh, not worth watching anymore, in my opinion. All right, so that's pretty much it. So as a conclusion, I definitely do recommend that you check out Pluralsight. I'll have a link in the description to a free trial if you want to try it out. Uh, they have tons of interactive content, interactive labs and projects. Uh, with the, you know all of the headaches of setting up your environment. It's not even a problem anymore. And uh, actually, if you enjoyed this video, um, take a look at my other video, which is the video where I review Udacity, which is another website for learning software development. So make sure to uh, check this out. And I'll see you next time.